Greetings and salutations. It is I, Mr. Nothing, the museum curator of the weird and the strange, and the host who might be a ghost. Welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual literature that I have found in my travels. It is Short Story Tuesday, another wonderful Tuesday, uh, and I wanted to talk about a short story that uh, focuses on 9-11 of all things. Um, the weirdness well, I'll, um, may not be evident right away, but I will get to it um, in the analysis section of the video. Um, so, um, yeah, so um, like I said in my video last week, last week I focused on the, refri the refrigerator monologues. So today I want to focus on another book that I got from my local library. Don't forget to patronize your local libraries. Um, I wanted to focus on Grand Union by Zadie Smith. Um, uh, another collection of short stories uh, from an author that um, I was not familiar with, um, but I might be tempted to check out uh, some of her other work just to get a feel for um, who she is. For those that don't know, Zadie Smith is another um, contemporary author with, uh, with a lot of accolades to her name. Uh, she first wrote, um, she, she wrote her first book, got it published in the year 2000, and since then she has been on a, a long streak of, of writing um, books and um, getting, getting published in um, journals and in newspapers, stuff like that. Uh, in 2010, she got a, a faculty job at NYU, so she's also teaching um, uh, literature and stuff like that to future generations of authors, um, which is um, in something that I haven't encountered before on uh, when looking at an author. A lot of authors are just authors, authors, and um, very few are actually teaching authors, so that's a different vibe going on there. A lot of... Uh, um, Zadie Smith's work is, is has a very diverse cast of characters, uh, a very diverse like main characters and protagonist. Uh, she's written about Americans, um, British, the British people from Bangladesh, people from Africa, um, a wide variety of, of characters, and I think that's a uh, that's that's very interesting, um, and I, I would like to check out more of of that in the future. Uh, in terms of this book, Grand Union, uh, it was published in 2019, so a fairly, fairly recent uh, book, much like uh, We Love Anderson Cooper. Um, yeah, so uh, the interesting thing is a lot of these short stories were printed before that. Um, so, uh, the, uh, the one I'll be talking about has even appeared in The New Yorker. Uh, so um, uh, a lot of uh, these stories might be a couple, couple of years old even, uh, which I think is is pretty interesting. So the story that I want to talk about was originally published in The New Yorker. It is called Escape from New York, which is the, a title similar to um, the, the the famous John Carpenter movie, uh, which is, is pretty good. Um, yeah, so Escape from New York is about uh, three characters, in particular uh, a group of friends named Michael, Liz, and Marlon. Uh, they're all um, a bit eccentric. Michael has a lot of trauma from his past that he doesn't exactly address through the course of the short story, uh, and he leans heavily on Liz and Marlon for their friendship. Liz is a Jewish socialite. Um, she she's stuck living in the past, and she um, she focuses on a uh, like uh, like she doesn't really. I don't think she likes the, the other two characters so much as um, it's just great to have them around for the company, I guess. And then Marlon is privately anti-Semitic. He's um, a bit of a jerk character. It's not clear why he's hanging around with Michael or Liz. It might just be for the, uh, the, the company again. Uh, three ill-suited people hanging out together. It's, it's quite unusual, uh, but you know, Sometimes people hang out and there's no clear reason why they're hanging out. Uh, anyways, so this, the story focuses on these three characters. Um, and at the beginning of the story, uh, a, a, a disaster happens in New York City. Um, it's a bit unclear at first what it is, but the characters eventually reveal that, uh, uh, that uh, some terrorists attacked uh, the Twin Towers. 
uh, so it's it's during 9-11, and uh, these characters fear that they may be targeted next in some sort of way. So they decide to get out of New York City as, as quick as possible. And they, they do that, and they, they decide to drive to, uh, um, to, to diners, like, in to restaurants and various places, and they eventually stop at like an IHOP in uh, in Ohio, uh, where they reflect on uh, how they they'd like to turn back the clock thirty or forty years to be in their prime again, um, and they also talk about uh, how things are definitely changed, whether it be whether it's probably for the worse. Uh, but things are, are quite different. Meanwhile, Michael is focusing on how, despite all the chaos around him, he's still happy to be in this diner with his with his two friends. So, even though things are very different, he's still thinking about the positives here, uh, which is um, very admirable. And that's the end of Grand. Uh, that's the end of Escape from New York. It's a short story, but a literal short story. All of the short stories just seem to end unceremoniously like that, and I don't know if that's Zadie Smith's writing style or if um, that's just uh, how her short stories just go. And that she like she just threw them all together because she didn't have a, a, a real place for them. Uh, I don't really know the answer to that, um, and it's 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 kind of uh, it kind of ruined my enjoyment overall of. Uh, of, of these short stories because I read um, I read multiple of the short stories and they they all kind of just ended ceremoniously and didn't really have they, they they just headed in a direction without like any purpose um, and I, I I do wonder if that's like the postmodern because um, Zadie is a uh, postmodern author um, it just might be that uh this that was the purpose like there was the purpose was there's no purpose um, it's just a list of events that are happening and so um, I wasn't a fan of that and then therefore I wasn't a fan of the story as a whole and so at first I was very confused about like why um, Smith used the 9-11 uh, as a backdrop of all things uh, and as I read more about the characters it dawned on me that um, she, that Michael Marlon and Liz are based upon Michael Jackson Marlon Brando and uh, Elizabeth Taylor um, all pretty famous people. All of them are, are dead now. Um, so an interesting thing about um, this is that it's, it's based upon the urban legend that after uh, after the September 11 attacks, like Marlon Brando, Liz, Elizabeth Taylor, and uh, Michael Jackson all got into their car, left New York City, and, and drove out to, uh, uh, to, I don't know, Ohio of all places. They to be safe from the 9-11 uh, the attacks. Um, and they eventually returned, but um, it's, it's, it's a bit of an urban legend that that happened. And they, they've all denied it. I don't think there's any truth to, the, to this, 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 uh, this rumor. Uh, but we can't, we can't exactly ask them now, can we? Because, again, they're dead. Uh, so it's, I do think it's fascinating that um, Smith mythologizes this event. Like, before your very eyes, you can see... Uh, Sadie Smith um, creating lore around September 11, um, particularly with three extremely famous people like Marlon Brando was was a pretty big name. And he dropped out over time, like over time because of his, his behavior and uh, his tendency to pick weird roles. Um, but he was still a pretty big deal. Michael Jackson is Michael Jackson, despite his his um, pedophilia trial. Uh, he. He was a pretty big, uh, pretty big name, and I think he still remains a big name uh, in music. And then Elizabeth Taylor, she was known for her uh, for her various uh, relationships, um, as well as starring in a number of um, pretty pretty good movies. Uh, so she uh, so she was a big name in and of herself, which uh, yeah, you know that. Uh, uh, so pretty three big names that she's turning into like larger than life kind of legends. Uh, but that only works, you only know about it if you know about the short story. And before this, I've only heard about it once before, and I was in a big old book of facts that, um, that told me, like, oh, there, there's a rumor that this happened. And I don't think anyone's actually talked about this since, like, 2002 or 2003 when the rumors first, uh, began to grow. Uh, which is weird. Why is Zadie Smith talking about this? Especially given that she's, a uh, um, British, 
Like, how would she know about this rumor of all things? Um, maybe she did her research? I don't really know. Uh, but, yeah, again, it, because I've only heard about it once, and I've seen nobody talk about this, this urban legend, like, never, ever, ever, I doubt many people would know about it. So the novelty of having these characters is kind of not there, because who is going to catch on to that, that urban legend that you got there? Maybe the name Marlon might stick out, because, like, there's only one person named Marlon uh, in the world, and that was Marlon Brando. Uh, maybe also Marlon Wayne's, but um, it's Marlon's a pretty unique name, and so it, it made me think. Uh, but maybe I'm the only one who caught on. The New Yorker website, there's actually a, a picture of like um, a silver glove placed on top of the uh, uh, um, the New York Post copy of the Twin Trade Tower disaster, and so like that might give you a hint, but you're not going to get a hint by reading it on your own. So. Without that novelty, all you have are the characters, and so you would think that um, knowing that some people might not glom on to um, the, f the famous nature of these characters, uh, she would at least make these characters interesting or develop them to a point that like, you could see like how they changed throughout the short story. But I don't think she does. Like she, she gives you the outline of a celebrity of what we know. Like oh, Michael Jackson has a troubled past, or Liz Taylor has multiple, multiple husbands, or Marlon Brando's kind of a jerk, and that's all she gives you. And and it's it just a through line straight to the end. And there's there's nothing really good about these characters. Nothing really interesting about them that makes the story worth reading, in my opinion. So this seems to be the problem with like Grand Union in general. There are stories that would have benefited from being flushed out a little bit or would have benefited from uh, um, uh, being edited a little more to add a little substance, or even, uh, in some cases, um, uh, adding a period here or there, because sometimes she makes long run-on sentences that just, you lo they, they lose me, and it's, 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 um, it's hard to read at times. Uh, yeah, so, uh, but there is, there is one story that, uh, that stood out to me, and that's called Blocked, which is about God um, basically delivering a monologue where he talks about how he's depressed. Uh, and that's an interesting short story, but I wouldn't say you should seek out this book just based on that short story alone. Uh, uh, I, th I do think it's a problem. And, um, like, ultimately, because of that, I wouldn't recommend this book. I wouldn't recommend going out and, and finding it. Um, if you're a fan of postmodern lit, maybe it might interest you. Uh, but I, I, I doubt it. Um, I, I'm not going to say Sadie Smith is an author not worth looking out for. I should probably check out her, again, her novels. Uh, because her novels might be completely different from her short stories. And I don't want to just base my decision about whether or not to read her on whether or not, um, whether or not these short, lim this limited short sto uh, story thing uh, is, is good in my opinion. So if you have read her books before, or you simply want to comment on something that I said here, feel free to comment below. I would love to hear from you and have a discussion about books. That's always fun. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to, if you want to be involved or, or talk about, um, Short Story Tuesday more. It's always fun, uh, to talk about those short stories. It's an interesting format to convey a message. Uh, otherwise, I bid you a pleasant times in your weird travels, and I bid you adieu.